Professor! Professor! Have you ever been to Asia? Yes, unfortunately. 17 years on the force in Hong Kong. Narcotics division. So you know Bali then? I banked a few heads there. You try throwing that punch, and the last thing you're gonna remember is your face spraying all over the place. What do we got here? Shoot her down the hallway. And her? She's under control. Ugh. Not cool, Peter. Time's up. I'm gonna shoot your boyfriend. Oh, wait. Three, two. It's a baby gun. It's just a baby gun. Don't shoot him. You are forbidden to talk to the other girls in the other rooms. At no time should you leave this room without permission. If any of you ever try to run, just remember. You know where your families live. Now get undressed. Mr. Ryan, that was some last hole. Thank you. I'm Mike Brent. I'm with the PGA. I've been following your season. Very impressive. How would you like a shot at the green jack? Are you serious? You don't joke about the masters. <laughs> we'll be in touch. <laughs> the reason we work so hard is because we put deposits down on these brand new motocross bikes. They were YZ125. They were a special white edition bike. The competition builds because the two of us are, you know, like racing the exact same bike. So the, the bikes are exactly the same. So who's better? You know? So we built this large track. To get to the finish line, we made a ramp, and only one bike can make it up the ramp. You worried about your friends? No, they can take care of themselves. The big guy looks like he could probably handle himself. He's a hell of a hockey player when he was a kid. He'd gone pro until he took a dirty hit, dislocated his retina. Uh, but he didn't care. All he ever wanted to do was be a cop. What about the girl? He tells me you two had a thing. That's none of your business. Feel so ashamed of the things that you do and free yourself. Or it'll haunt you forever. Yeah. Just just quit fucking around. Okay. You really had to fuck things up, didn't you, Oscar? Well, grow up. I see something and I go after it. I don't think I could play the part of a princess, but uh, if it was given to me, I think I would even try that. Not one of you saw a fucking thing, huh? It's Adric. Why the hell would Adric do this, huh? Why wouldn't he? He probably wants my territory. He probably wants the competition gone. Maybe he heard I was expanding. I? V, I, us. Same fucking thing, Mara. Don't start that shit with me now. My ex-wife from Hong Kong said I always thought like a guaylo. Foreign devil. She say that foreigners view their lives in terms of absolutes. If they can't explain the unexplained, then it doesn't exist. I'm beginning to understand what she meant. But how about me hitching a ride back to the city on that chopper? Hey, Gord. What do they call a white woman in Hong Kong? Kawhi Pa. See you later. What would you rather we do? Let them kill Jules and save the cash in a $100,000 bounty? That's not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? Just trying to figure out this fucked up situation. Chase. I love her. I know. If anything happens to Jules, I won't be able to live with myself. Oh no. I've got enough responsibilities on my hands to claim any more for you two. Ever since you two boys have been together, you have been nothing but trouble. Dealing with either one of you two will put me in jail of retirement. <laughs> That's the truth. This pretty girl, well, she's got a gun pointed to her head. You're going to put the gun down, and we're going to take you in. What's in that for me? You get the lid. OK. I'll just shoot the bitch. Now! Hey, guys. I think I'm dying over here.